Hello, YouTubers. Welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel, a channel focused on cybersecurity practice in our daily IT life. In my previous videos, also in my Vulnerability Scan channel, you will see some other tools I recorded before. Open was Accurate for web applications, vulnerability scanning, free NSS vulnerability scanner, Quality free community edition, open was Greenbone virtual appliance, and the Metasploit community version. This bunch of tools have been introduced. Today I'm gonna talk about the Burp Shoot. Burp Shoot is the leading range of cybersecurity tools brought to you by Port Swigger. Also, Burp Suit is the most popular penetration testing and vulnerability finding tools. It's often used to check web application security. Burp Suit is a proxy based tool used to evaluate the security of web based application and do hands on testing. As you can see from the screen, there are three different versions. They do have community version which is providing to cybersecurity research it and hobbies to use for free. You also can pay $3.99 per user per year to get a professional version which is gonna include in web vulnerability scanner and advanced manual tools. For enterprise it's starting from $3,999 per year. In this video we're gonna focus on community version, we're gonna download the latest version and install on our computer and also configure it as a proxy tool and use it to intercept our web traffic. Download has been completed. It's about 183 megabytes. The latest version is 2020 September 2nd version. I'm gonna install it on my Windows 2016 standard version. It is same process you install on your Windows 10 or Windows 2019 server. I'm gonna close those property window. Double click the installation files. The installation widget shows up. Next, installation folder, next, next. Okay, it's finished it. Let's start with it. We are getting these terms and the conditions. Let's say I accept. Now we can start with our project. So we can use a temporary project. We're going to use a burp default. And then we start burp suit. Again, this is community edition. You also can get a trial edition for professional version. If 
Finally, this is our main interface of Burp Shoot Community Edition, version 2020, September 2nd. The first thing you probably want to check is proxy settings. We can see the intercept is on. You can put the intercept is off. You also can use Burp's embedded browser, or you can use our default browser, Google Chrome. And uh, or Firefox. So the options shows how proxy has been configured. Right now, right now it's configured on interface localhost one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one on port eighty eighty. You can add a different port to it and also you can bind into specific address so I'm gonna put the new port 8081 and with a specific address this gonna allow other machines to use this proxy as well now next step we're gonna configure our Firefox and Google Chrome to use this proxy. This is Google Chrome. We go to settings. You go to advanced in the settings. Choose the system. There's a settings, open your computer's proxy settings. Click that. The default Windows proxy settings will open up. Again, this is global settings. Use a proxy server, put it on on and put the address you can put since it's on local machine you can put the 127.0.0.1 and port 8080 save it on Firefox it is different Go to menu, go to options, network settings, you can use system proc settings as well, but we're going to manual configure it. You can say also use this proxy for FTP and HTTPS. You don't need to check list. Don't use the proxy server for local addresses. We're going to use uh, Firefox for testing the traffic. You go to Wik Wikipedia website. This is HTTPS website. What we need to do, we need to trust this CA from port swigger and then this warning message is going to go away. Just type HTTP colon slash slash burp. Then there's a CA certificate menu shows here. Click on it. Save the file.
double click on it close OK so the certificate menu is going to show up so we're going to install certificate we're going to install local machine next we're going to place into the trust CA Trusted Load Certificate Authority folder here and let's choose OK next finish close this OK you're gonna try website again let's close this now we're gonna try website again advanced options search for certificate We can select one, choose select one automatically. We can also view the certificate. We can also import the certificate. Okay, just this certificate. Close it. Close this. Let's try again. Restart the browser. Click Wikipedia again. Okay, when intercept is off, then perhaps we will not do anything about it, but we need to turn it on and then we can try it again. Let's try our website. So we need to click forward to send the traffic. So you see the request, we are sending the traffic to there and then we come into HTTPS website and then we keep forwarding. So basically burp shoot is intercepting all traffic and then we allow it. So now we can see the traffic has been forwarded and there is no security certificate warning message. Same thing on Google Chrome. It's launching. Let's check Wikipedia website again. So the traffic has been hold has been intercepted by burp shoot and we have to forward it. For each request we're gonna forward to the destination. Wikipedia website right now it's going to there right now. So 
for each packet the perp shoot has been intercepted and then one by one we are going forward to the destination we get a little response back so that's how we configured our Google Chrome how we configured our Firefox to use burp shoot and how burp shoot intercepted the traffic request and forward it to the destination those are basic settings so right now we have burp shoot it's working we have our browser configured if we want to use our cell phone and we want to monitor and intercept the traffic from cell phone we also have to configure the cell phone to use these proxy settings which we defined here we are going to using our network address with um, port 8081 in that way we can intercept the traffic from our cell phone to the destination using burp shoot as a middle proxy Thank you for, for watching this. We're going to have more videos for the purpose later on.